Bismillahirrahman Rahim and this is the fourth video of the series uh, on operation of NPN transistor in active mode and here we'll solve the remaining exercise questions that is 6.4, 6.5 and 6.6 okay so let's see exercise 6.4 you have to calculate beta for two transistors for which alpha is given so this is simply just plug in, in into the formula the second part is for collector current of 10 milliampere find the base current of each transistor so let's see as I told you the first one we just have to plug in into the formula we know the values of uh, alpha so we can calculate the two betas so for alpha 0 0.99 beta will be uh, 0.99 divided by 1 minus alpha so it is point uh, it is 99 and from the for the other value that is alpha 0.98 similarly putting in the formula we get beta to be 49 so this part is easy for the second part we have to uh, write this equation and from here we can find that IB can be written as IC over uh, beta so for beta 99 IB will be IC over beta again IC is uh, one, 10 milliampere from here so we will write 10 milliampere in this formula and beta is 99 so IB will be 0 0.1 milliampere and for the second beta we'll only change the beta here and IB will be 0 0.2 milliampere so this is easy and this is the answer given in the book two of the betas and two of the base currents Okay, size 6.5, a transistor for which IS, the scale current or saturation current is given, beta is given, is conducting a collector current of 1 milliampere. The first step we have to find VBE and then we have to find ISE and ISB. So this is the IS of the emitter current and this is IS of the base. Okay, so we start with this equation and as we have done before, we'll just uh, switch the side, so E, V, B, T is I, C over I, S and we uh, take log on both sides, so we'll get V, B, B, T and on this side it will be log natural of I, C over I, S, E will get eliminated because of the log and now from here VBE is VT into this plugging in the values we know VT is 25 millivolts so we'll write 25 millivolts this is always 25 in this book then log natural of IC is given 1 milliampere so 1 milliampere and IS is given as 10 to the power minus 16 so we'll plug in that and solving we get VBE 748.3 millivolt uh, part 2 of the question says that we have to find ISE and ISB for the transistor so let's see how to proceed we know this formula that IC is IS e raised to the power VBE over VT we also know from this relation that IC can be written as alpha IE so we'll plug in this value here so alpha IE is just the right hand side remains same and from here IE can be written as IE is this term divided by alpha so IS over alpha E raised to the power of this and now this IS over alpha we name it as ISE so IS of the emitter
and now we can easily find the value of ISE which is IS over alpha we know the value of IS okay alpha we have to calculate alpha we can calculate from this formula we have beta given 100 so alpha is 0.99 so we're plugging in the value is was tended to the power minus 16 given alpha 0.99 so this is ise same way we can find uh, i um, isb same formula for i uh, from here now ic can be written as beta ib so we write beta ib and from here ib can be written as is over beta and remaining terms remain same and if we call is over beta as isb uh, then isb is is over beta we know the value of is we know the value of beta so isb is standard to the power minus 18 ampere okay now let's start uh, question number 6.6 .6. But before that, we need to build a concept about active region and saturation region. So we, we had seen that for a, a transistor to be in active region, uh, this one, that is the PN junction or base emitter junction has to be forward biased and base collector junction has to be reversed bias. And uh, basically, uh, this diagram represents the actual connection. So we have actually two voltages source. One is VCE and other is VBB. But th there is no voltage source connected between these two terminals, that is collector and base. But for ease of understanding, I have shown it with a voltage source. So you know that this will be reversed bias and how it will be reversed bias when positive is connected to the end terminal and negative is connected to the P terminal then this becomes reversed bias. Okay and from here now we can write the KVL equation so we go like this minus VBE minus VCB and then this VCE plus VCE. And from here we can write VCB to be VCE minus VBE or also we can write VCE to be uh, VB plus VCB. We also know that VBE is around 0 0.7 volt so we take it as 0 0.7 volt base emitter voltage. And then let's uh, make some assumptions to uh, clarify our uh, understanding. Let's assume that VC or VCE is 2 volts. So this voltage source VC is supplying 2 volts. So what will be the other voltages? So from here VCB, now this equation we are following VCB is VCE 2 volt minus 0 0.7. So 2 minus 7 that is 1.7 volt positive is across collector and base junction and therefore CB diode is reversed bias because this it is following that uh, it has plus uh, 1.7 volt at this point this battery plus so 1.7 volt plus here BJT is in active mode the active mode because this is forward bias and this is reversed bias so BJT is an active mode and if we single out the this junction only that is the uh, base collector junction and we uh, we know this is a uh, we can represent it like a diode so we see the diode characteristics now here this arrow shows where we are standing we are in the negative region uh, so this is 1.7 volt that we are applying and for the reverse bias case we are in the negative region and on the positive region will be when it is forward bias one more thing you can see the uh, when it is in the forward bias the 
डायोड करेंट डज नॉट स्टार्ट इमीजिएटली आफ्टर सम टाइम्स इट स्टार्ट राइजिंग सो वी हैव टू कीप दिस पॉइंट इन माइंड एनी वे वी आर हेयर सो द डायोड इज रिवर्स बायस नाउ नेक्स्ट वी रिड्यूस दिस सप्लाई टू लेट्स ए वन वोल्ट वन वी सी इज वन वोल्ट वी सी बी विल बी पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट सो नाउ दिस वोल्ट इज इज पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट सी बी डायोड इज स्टिल रिवर्स बायस एंड द बी जे टी इज इन एक्टिव मोड एंड वेयर आर वी नाउ वी आर स्टैंडिंग एट दिस पॉइंट सो पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट इन द रिवर्स वोल्टेज रीजन और द रिवर्स रीजन एंड कपल ऑफ मोर सिलेक्शन नाउ यू आर सेंग दैट वी सी ई इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट सो दिस इज नाउ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट वी आर रिड्यूसिंग दिस वोल्टेज ग्रेजुअली सो वन वी सी ई इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट दैन वी सी बी विल बी फ्रॉम हेयर पॉइंट सेवन माइनस पॉइंट सेवन जीरो वोल्ट सो वी हैव नाउ जीरो वोल्ट एट दिस पॉइंट वेर आर वी स्टैंडिंग नाउ ऑन दिस लाइन वी आर एट द पॉइंट जीरो सी बी डायोड इज स्टिल रिवर्स बायस जीरो वोल्ट वी कंसिडर इट टू बी रिवर्स बायस एंड द बी जे टी इज इन एक्टिव मोड ओके दस फार इट्स ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू द क्रिटिकल पार्ट वट इफ वी सी ई इज रिड्यूस टू पॉइंट फोर वोल्ट नाउ वी आर मेकिंग दिस पॉइंट फोर वोल्ट सो फ्रॉम दिस कैलकुलेशन वी सी बी विल बी पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट सो वी सी बी विल बी पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट एंड फ्रॉम दिस बैटरी यू कैन सी दैट नाउ नेगेटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू दी नेगेटिव और एन एंड पॉजिटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू पी सो दे फोर दिस डायवर्ट शुड बी फॉरवर्ड बेस्ट बट इट इज नॉट वाई नॉट दैट इज द की पॉइंट टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ लेट्स वी आर नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट हेयर ऑन द पॉजिटिव साइड ऑफ दिस ग्राफ वी आर एट पॉइंट थ्री Uh, the diode current does not start flowing till 0.4 and that too very slow and then at 0.7 it starts uh, going high so although we are in the uh, forward bias region uh, or the uh, positive region or, but the diode is not conducting and that is why we'll call that the diode is still reversed bias so this is important point to understand and so the cb diode is reversed bias and we still call the bjt to be in active mode and finally when we reduce the vc to be further from 0.4 to now 0.3 we have reduced this to 0.3 and then what will happen that vcb will be 0.3 minus 0.7 is minus 0.4 so minus 0.4 now we are here at this point and where the diode now starts conducting the current uh, diode current start flowing so now we can see that the uh, since the current is flowing we are in the forward bias region so at point 4 this is becoming forward bias and the bjt will now be in the saturation because this is forward bias and this has also become forward bias so when both forward bias the bjt is in saturation mode so this point is called the edge of saturation or we can also say it edge of active region so at the edge of active region vce is 0.3 and vcb is 0.4 so this is an important point that we have to keep in mind while solving the next question now we come to the question from the circuit uh, analyzed in figure example 6.1 find the maximum value of rc that will result in a active mode operation okay so uh, we had we uh, uh, from the example 6.1 vbe is 0.69 not 0.7 and we'll just follow what we have learned the concept vcc RCRC plus VCE from here uh, RC is VCC minus VCE divided by IC now what is the value of this at the edge of active region we we 
uh, to get RC maximum, this has to be VCE minimum. And we just saw that VCE minimum is 0.3. So at the edge of active region or at the edge of saturation region, uh, it is 0.3 volts. So we'll plug in this value. And so plugging in the value of RC maximum will be 4.7 kilo. Now this does not match with the answer given in the book because he has assumed it to be an ideal situation when uh, the voltage uh, becomes, the moment the voltage becomes uh, uh, forward VCE becomes 0.7, this is starts conducting. So that is not correct, I guess, because if we follow that, then the subsequent questions will not be able to solve. So we have, we have to follow this VCE uh, is 0 0.3 volt when the diode starts conducting and then we uh, are at the edge of the active region or edge of the saturation region. So I hope this gives you an understanding, especially for exercise 6.6. .6. Thank you.